Guys, I've been thinking. That's dangerous. And I want to get a... Really? He's right. It is dangerous when you start thinking. Anakin is capable of thinking? Haha, <laughs> very funny. But this is a good idea. You'll want to hear it. The last time you had a quote, good idea, Rex ended up in the medical bay for a month. What the hell happened? Horrors beyond your mortal comprehension. AKA, you'll have to ask him. Seriously. I was thinking about how I've got this robotic hand, right? What if I changed it up a bit? Got some new attachments. I guess the hand thing does get a bit old after a while. Like Master Kenobi? The only thing old about me is the warranty on my lightsaber. It ran out last week. That's what I mean. Consider it. I could turn my arm into just a straight-up lightsaber. No warranty required. Kind of like what Echo got? I heard he got a scomp link to replace his hand. He also has a buzz saw and a special attachment shaped like a Gungan cop. Shut up, Anakin! No, wait. He's onto something. Thanks, Padme. See? I told you guys I have good ideas. Okay, well, it's not your worst idea ever. But if you're going to do anything, you should start by replacing that glove. Now that you mention it, I can always find Sky Guy by just using my nose. That's what I mean. I think I might just get him a new one. No way! My glove is here to stay. If you need some place to wash it, Anakin, my washing machine hasn't been getting much use lately. Yours is the last place I'm going to do laundry, Obi-Wan. Anakin, you can just do it at my apartment. I don't mind. Yeah, but your machines make my clothes smell funny. Even the musty clones locker room smells better. That's definitely the biggest downside to hanging around the clones. They're all so hot, but they low-key stink. It's an acquired taste. I mean, you get used to it. I'm not washing my glove, guys. It's the only thing I have left of turnips. She pissed all over it the last time I saw her. That explains the smell. You really need to let that Lothcat go, Anakin. It's not coming back. She's a person, and her name is Turnips. It was a fucking cat, Anakin. These things happen. Besides, you're a Jedi. You shouldn't be having attachments. Coming from the most attached Jedi in all of galactic history. The difference is, I don't let my feelings get in the way of what needs to be done. Anakin, you need to wash that glove. Not a chance, Snips. And if you ask again, I'm making you eat out of it. How did you even lose your hand anyway? You never told me the whole story. You don't remember. All I remember is that it had something to do with Dooku and bringing him to a climax. What?! You did seem a bit anxious to finish him off that day. That's not what happened, and you know it. He cut off my hand. It was my you-know-what hand, too. And someday, I'm gonna get him back for it. Why not today? He'd make an interesting guest. This sounds like a bad idea. We thrive on bad ideas. Come here, Pookie Dookie. Pss, pss, pss. He's not a cat. Also, what the hell? Let me have my process, Master. Ah, oh, my back. I think you pulled him a little too hard, Anakin. Oh, shit. I've been fearing this day for over a year. I don't know. Anakin can be pretty rough. Especially when it's a hate fuck. But no, not with Dooku. That's gay. Anakin, that's homophobic. I know, but it's July now. Pride Month is done and homophobia is legal again. Did you have to grab me during my doctor's appointment? You're old, like 90% of your time is spent at the doctor. And the other 10% is for resting. Let's just get this over with. But I'm not going down without a fight. I have no intention of losing my head. Hang on, we're not here to fight, just to talk. So, this isn't about getting revenge for Skywalker's right hand. Oh, don't worry. We'll get to that, Dookie. Then what? Is this some kind of Jedi therapy session? Because I'm not paid for this. You forget I was a Jedi myself. I know it's a scam. Tell me about it. Last time Anakin went to one, Yoda told him to take a vow of silence. Took a sand bath to get him to break it. You know what, Dookie? This is about revenge. Revenge is not the Jedi way. First thing I'm gonna do is take you to that clinic on Naboo. You know the one run by all those libtards and have your brain fried so you can no longer use the Force. I'm afraid to even ask where you heard this nonsense. I heard it in a hollow podcast from Jex Alone's. Just call it a normal podcast. Why do you have to add a hollow in front of everything? We have screens, too. Stop being meta. Well, this one was specifically a hologram one. Did you know that Naboo swamp water is turning the newness gay? I knew those nasty Gungans were up to something. Oh, fantastic. Now we're blaming swamp water for everything. What's next? Blaming the sand for Anakin's temper? What? You're defending the Gungans now? Disgusting. I bet you make love to them. I can't even stomach the idea of those creatures giving me tongue. I sure can. I think that would be traumatizing for the Gungan. I'm starting to think I prefer losing my head over an entire conversation with the likes of you. <laughs> Hello there, my 
my beloved fans. I am Hondo Onaka, and I am proud to announce that the Zenjoverse now has merchandise. We have stickers, hats, shirts, and hoodies, all based around your favorite and most iconic gags from the series. Feeling late? Killing kids? Need to light up a death stick? Maybe you're feeling like telling the specific genocidal maniac to zip his lip? Head over to the merch store and check it out for yourself. What the hell have I been pulled into? Get with the program. Don't worry, nobody has any idea what that means. You would if you'd read my thesis, Snips. You're not the only one with a bone to pick here, Anakin. Dooku here tried to have me assassinated. In my defense, I was under direct orders from Palpatine. And I didn't even do it. I told Django to do it. Django didn't even bother doing it himself. He sent that changeling bounty hunter to do it for him. Didn't she send a droid to do it for her too? I mean, if you want to get technical about it, the droid sent a couple poisonous bugs to do it. It's not really surprising that Dooku doesn't do his own dirty work, is it? I guess not. I've been known to get dirty every now and then. Sometimes things are just that important. Like when you decided to mutilate Anakin right when he became barely legal? Yeah, but why did you say it like that? Just say I was 19. Hey, the only one barely legal here is me. And that's only in like 12 systems. Remind me which ones again? So I know which ones to avoid? Ahsoka, stop being horny. What? That wasn't even me. That was Padme. I am sorry, Skywalker. I took no pride in mutilating you. I did it only as a last resort. I... I wasn't expecting an apology. Well, I did. The Sith are not all so bad, you know. I hope not. I'm kind of destined to become one someday. You? A Sith? Please, what will your name be, Darth Impotence? I thought you were saving that for Ventress. Ventress is impotent? I sure hope so. Otherwise, there's probably a few bald gingers running around. What? You know, we actually had you on this show once before, Dookie. It was a long time ago, though. Since we defeated Lord Sidious together. That was a long time ago, and it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Really? I remember it being extremely easy, even though I had to do it twice over. Twice over? What does that mean? Oh, uh, nothing. I've thought of him as a father since the day he named me Darth Tyrannus. Wait. Darth Tyrannus, your name is literally Turbo Anus? You're misspeaking on purpose. I mean, if your real name is Dudu, it adds up that you'd get a similar Sith name. Being bestowed a Darth title is among the greatest honors of the Sith tradition. Well, with a name like that, it's clear Palpatine didn't appreciate you. I mean, I kind of feel bad for you. Your mom clearly didn't even love you either, if she also named you after Poop. Dooku is my last name. Really? I never knew. Well, what's your first name? I can't tell you that. You know, if you don't tell me, I'm just going to look it up in the Jedi records. Master Jocasta is very anal about this sort of stuff. Pun intended. Uh, fine. It's Dingle. Your full name is Dingle Dooku? Yikes. Your mom really didn't love you. Didn't your mother give you up for adoption at age nine? You already took my hand. You didn't need to take my heart. Why the fuck are you being poetic? You would have been taken by the Jedi when you were even younger, right? I was hardly more than an infant when my father left me to die. Womp womp, I didn't ask for your sob story, asshole. You could have been like my cool great-grandpa and instead you became a Sith. Yeah, and you could have been like my great-great-grandpa. Uh, I'm so old. I do admit, it's nice not being the oldest person in the room for once. Hey, if you're actually supposed to be a Sith, why don't you have the Sith eyes? Yeah, they're supposed to glow yellow and red, right? It's not something I've actually seen. I've been told I have them. Once or twice. It only happens in the moments of our greatest hatred. Bullshit! I've seen those bug eyes up close. I think he's just trying to scare us with that Sith stuff. Or maybe he's trying to convince himself he's scary. Is this what it's like being interrogated by a Jedi comedy club? You think you're being interrogated? Bitch, I haven't even started on you. Be grateful I've not tied you up to one of those containment fields. Excuse me? What are you talking about? You forget so easily? You hooked me up in that kinky sex dungeon of yours on Geonosis. Am I supposed to believe you just had all that down there in case of a prisoner? I was just studying the bugs, Kenobi. That's all. It was the best place to store you. We weren't expecting intruders. I knew there was something weird about you, but... <sighs> you know what that sounds like to me? 
projecting. I bet you can find some evidence of that somewhere. Dookie and the Geonosians. Looking up Rule 34 is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be down bad. Shocking that this is coming from someone older than Obi-Wan. If I went back there and used my lightsaber as a black light, how much am I going to see? That room was so gross, even to me, and I'm practically a sex demon. I wasn't doing anything weird with the bugs. The Geonosians created droid factories for us, as you know. And, well, I might as well tell you, we were working with them to build the Death Star. The Death Star? I think we've heard of that once or twice from some guests. What is it? Nothing now. Since Palpatine is dead, I can finally let the stupid fucking idea go. I mean, you know me, I'm impossibly rich. I have like an entire planet of wealth. And the construction alone would bankrupt me. When was this? When did you know about this Death Star? I mean, I know you're a Sith now, but you used to be a Jedi. No way you'd be okay with the deaths of so many innocents. I learned of it the day the Clone War started. I never doubted Palpatine until that day. But what was I to do? Without an apprentice, I could not betray my master. I suppose I have you all to thank for overthrowing him. I wish I could have been there on Geonosis that day. I heard a rumor that the clones were all shirtless. Sadly, Sadly that's, that's not, not true. Whoa, Whoa jinx, jinx! Double, double jinx. jinx! I really never got the appeal of those guys. They're just dudes. Django was more than just a dude. I honestly thought of him almost as a son. He reminded me so much of Qui-Gon for reasons I can't really explain. A shame Master Windu killed him that day. I would have liked to meet the prick who tried to kill me. I'm surprised that more of the clones don't hold it against him. He basically killed their father. I always hated that piece of shit. Yes, me too. He's taken everything from me, my wife, my kids, my job. Anakin, you still have all those things. Not for long. Jex alone is saying that the woke agenda is coming for my family now. Didn't you hear? Two little black girls were created by the Force in the past. Now I'm not special. Anakin, stop being meta and don't be a dumbass. I think you gotta stop watching those conspiracy grifters, Anakin. Jex Alones is a dear friend of mine, Skywalker. Perhaps you'd like to meet him. Wow. Really? I'm like his number one fan. When can we go? We could go now. But I have one condition. You could be my new apprentice. Seriously? You're not seriously considering this, are you, Anakin? Shut up. Let me think. What the fuck? Anakin, remember how you invited him over to get revenge? Now you want to hang with the guy? What? Am I not allowed to make amends and bond with my old enemy? Anakin, how can you possibly bond with him? He killed Mina Bonteri. He killed Corday. He cut off your hand and he tried to kill me. Several times. Women, am I right? You're so real. I think Padme has a point with this one. Sometimes it's easy to forget the extent of a man's crimes. Dingle has done a lot of heinous shit. I mean, that's already three young women that you've tried to kill. How many more are there that we don't know about? I used to be a real ladies' man in my younger years. I'm sorry, but it's hard to stay vanilla in my old age. What? Are you telling me you're into snuff? Because now we might have to bond. What the actual fuck, Master Kenobi? Oh, save your judgment for the council, Ahsoka. You know what? I'm getting kind of sick of this prick. Anakin, can you just kill him already? Me? No way, Dingle here is my homie now. I think it's best if I just go. Ahsoka, maybe you want to do the honors? Uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. Obi-Wan, do you want to do it? Not particularly. Anakin, this is your fight, not mine. Padme, we can't kill him. Do it! But... Do it! Ugh. Good, Annie. Good. I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. Yeah, well, neither was marrying me and having twins, but here we are. Honestly, at this point, the Jedi Code feels more like a set of loose suggestions. Good little bung. Be a good boy for Daddy Dukes. Keep digging. We're almost to the virgins. I'm trying. I can feel it. We're so close. Uh, uh, they're so pretty. Finally, the real story can begin. Thanks so much to our outrageous and insane supporters on Patreon. Taco God, Charlie, Darth Knight 777, Leon Oberena, Sonata, Thestral Pony, and Vasu Patel. 
The continued love and support for Zenger and this channel is awesome, and we still love making videos for you guys, even if it's taking longer than it used to these days. Writing these episodes is becoming a bigger challenge. So special thanks to Werewolfester96 and local commander Bly for their helpful ideas in writing this episode. Comment something about toys if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.